I got a, a couple uh, things here in the mail. Uh, one of these came like a week ago. Just have not had a video to throw it into. So I'm just going to show you a couple movies. First up, I ordered this from Grove. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of have a soft spot for some of the Judd Apatow movies. I used to really like 40 Year Old Virgin but until I rewatched it. And I didn't really like it. Hopefully that doesn't happen with this one. Um, knocked Up is five bucks. I was like, all right, let me grab that. And I'll do a little rewatch. It's got the unrated theatrical version. It's got tons of special features there. I didn't ever realize how many special features are just on this edition or whatever for this movie. I don't know. I feel like Judd Apatow is one of those guys. His movies were really funny at a point in time. And some of them just aren't anymore. And all of his movies are way too long. Like... If these movies were an hour and a half, I'd probably have a way more soft spot for them than I do. But because they're like all over two hours, they're kind of long. It's kind of ridiculous, right? But I don't know. I, I'm hoping I still enjoy this movie on rewatch. I'm hoping it doesn't get lesser in my mind. But, you know, you got some people, some actors I really enjoy in this. Seth Rogen's funny and good in a lot of stuff. And, you know, I got Matt, I got to have Matt uh, respect for my uh, friend, uh, uh, Seth Rogen because he's producing that new Ninja Turtles movie and if you know me me and my turtles big fan so hopefully that all works out anyways next thing I want to show you many saints in New York 4k um, yeah I uh, if you saw my last haul video I got the Sopranos complete series uh, for like 35 bucks on sale it, it was on back order from Amazon got that in the mail did a big unboxing of that was super excited to get that but I had this movie on blu-ray um, but I finally decided to upgrade to 4k because it was like $14 it's a pretty good deal and you know if I, I'm if I'm gonna rewatch the whole show I'm gonna rewatch this movie so why not rewatch it in 4k right so um, I enjoyed this movie a lot I think this is one of those movies that I wish had just been a show I seen young Tony Soprano, seeing a lot of the characters from the Sopranos, you know, younger versions of them in this time period. There's so much they could have done, and in some ways they do a lot of that in this movie. But in other ways, there's missed potential. This movie isn't even two hours, or actually, it's a little bit over two hours. But it could have been three hours. Could have been a whole show. Could have been so much more. I think if this movie had done well, they probably would have done more. But I didn't think it did great, mostly because. It ended up doing, it was one of those date and date HBO Max movies when it really, honestly, it just should have been an HBO Max movie, but, right, because that's where The Sopranos is, should have had a better marketing push around it too, or it just should have been a show. I don't know. Sopranos is a great show if you've never seen it. Anyways, that's uh, going to do it for this video. Uh, stay tuned for a couple unboxings that I'm going to post on Wednesday. Thank you guys for watching, like, share, and subscribe.